Today we're going to do some finger math. Now you know you've seen people talk about doing nines and they they use their fingers and they go like uh, nine times six is uh, fifty four or something like that. Well, we're not going to do that. I'm going to use a technique that I've shown you before of combining numbers in your mind and putting them together. Now, what I did was I flipped the video around so you can see this black box is on the wrong side because I want to be able to show you in real time how we do numbers. Now we use the left hand and the right hand technique. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to imagine in our mind certain concepts that we're going to think about, put together, and do our math. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to just take the concept of taking two numbers and putting them together in space. So you're going to you're going to use your your left hand and your right hand and you're going to put the numbers together. Okay? So the rule is this. Again, we've done it before. The rule is you take numbers and you add the tens to the entire number or you affix a single digit to the number on the left. For example, if you have a uh, 74 and uh, 8 is just 748. You see, but if you have 74 and 18, then it's going to be it's going to be 758. How you do it, okay? So knowing that, let's practice a little bit. And let's get this going. So again, I don't want you to worry about doing any mathematical equations. I want you to practice the concept, okay? So in your left hand, you're going to have 62. 62. In your right hand, you're going to have 59. Okay, so 62 and 5. Okay, so it's going to be 6, 7, 9. See if it works? Okay. 21 and 14. 21, 14. So it's, it's going to be a 1. So it's going to be 2, 2, 4. Got that? Good. Let's do uh, 37 and 12. Okay, so 37, 12. It's going to be 382, just like that. Let's do 77 and 77. This will break base 10, okay? So 77 and 7 will be 847. Got that? 77, 77 will be 847, all right? Let's do another one. Let's do uh, 36 and 71, okay? So 36 and 71, you'll go for base 10 again. So that, that will be 431. Got it? Okay. 76. Okay. Well, excuse me. Um, 36 and 71. So it'll be 431. Okay. Let's do let's do a, a 76 and a 94. Again, this will go for base 10. Okay. So 76 and 9 would be... 854 94 854 okay if I'm going too fast just stop the video and roll back but that's how you practice it so think of any two numbers and put one in the left hand okay so this, this could be a 12 and an 11 okay same thing so now you just put it together and it would be one three one just like that and by practicing that you're going to be able to really see how numbers go together in the mind. Okay, let's do a few more here. Okay, let's do uh, 27 and 18. Okay, so that will be 288. Good. Let's do 46 and 21. So that will be 481. Okay, let's do um, 97 and 43. So again, you go over base 10. Okay, so that will be 1013. It's a big one, okay? 97, 4, 101, 3. Good. Let's do 65 and 14. So that'll be 6, 6, 4. Let's do 98 again and 71, okay? So that'll be 105, 1. 98, 71, 105, 1. And let's do an easy one, a 10 and 11, okay? Of course, that's very, very easy. It just be one, one, one. Okay. 
Um, and the last one we'll do will be 72 and 18. 72 and 18 would be 7, 3, 8. Easy to do. Okay. So practice that. And the reason I'm not uh, putting anything on the screen, putting your numbers down, because I want you to use this as mental math practice. If you write things down, that's not mental math. You can you can write things down when you do it, you know, in, in real time, in school, or whatever. But I want you to get used to doing it in your brain, in your mind. That way, it's part of your knowledge base, your skill set. So again, practice that. I mean, you can do this when you're laying in bed, when you're on the bus, when you're you just want to spend some quality time, train your mind. Do this, okay? So thank you. Please comment. Thank you for your subscriptions. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.